What's up guys? So normally when I'm doing these videos, man, I'm super excited to share stuff with you, but unfortunately today is not one of those video topics that I don't think is going to bring a smile to many people's faces because today we're going to talk about Printful, the production partner that many of us use, whether it's for selling on Etsy, uh, it could be Shopify. I know a lot of us sell on Amazon Seller Central using Printful because there aren't that many alternatives if you want to sell through Seller Central and have the fully automated integrations. Um, but unfortunately, Printful is raising their prices tomorrow on March 8th, 2022 for a lot of different products on their catalog and they are changing some of their shipping prices. So my goal in this video is to get all of you guys up to date on what to expect tomorrow when the pricing changes go live. And then I also want to kind of talk you through some of your options as far as what you can do to uh, you know, have some alternatives in place, whether it's an alternative production partner or, you know, and that can be for specific products, right? You can do it on a product to product basis. And we'll even talk about like, if you're selling on Amazon, you know, you're not necessarily stuck with Printful, but if you wanna kind of circumvent Printful, uh, there's gonna be a little bit of a manual process, but I can kind of walk you through that at a high level. So that's the plan for today. Let's get started. We're gonna get to Printful in just one second, but I wanted to remind you really quickly, I run a free weekly print-on-demand giveaway. Two winners are gonna be randomly selected and announced on Sunday. You can enter using the link at the top of the description. It's completely free. Also in the description, I've got an eight-day print-on-demand mini course, completely free, one lesson a day delivered to your email inbox, and I've got a great print-on-demand Facebook group if you guys would like to join. All right, over to Printful. So Printful's published a page dedicated to the March 8th changes. I will put a link to it in the description. And you know what? I'll put it at the top of the description for you guys in case you want to check it out for yourself. Um, let's just read through it really quickly so we're all on the same page about what to expect. So Printful prices are changing. On March 8th, we're updating prices for select products, product variants, and shipping rates. What's happening? Over the past few months, our suppliers, carriers, and utility providers have increased their prices, leading to a significant spike in our operational costs. While reviewing our prices, we also noticed some inconsistencies between product variants. This has urged us to revisit product and shipping prices. On March 8th, we're increasing prices for select products and variants fulfilled in US, Europe, Canada, and Australia, size 2XL and up surcharges for products fulfilled in the US, embroidery markup for apparel products fulfilled in Australia, some of our shipping rates to the US, Europe, and worldwide, and flat rate shipping rates for jackets and duffel bags. Note that the UK shipping region will be separate from Europe and the UK shipping rates will stay the same as before. To review the so to review the review of our prices also revealed some product variants in the US and Europe were where we can decrease the prices. Okay. Why the change is necessary. The main reason for changing the prices is the rising operational expenses and supplier prices, which for some blank products have increased by more than seven dollars. It's quite a bit. We have to evaluate our costs and reflect these changes in our pricing. While reviewing our expenses, we also noticed some errors in the pricing of our product variants where we are charging different prices for some variants of the same products. With this change, we're fixing the mistakes and we're improving our pricing systems to avoid such inconsistencies in the future. Shipping carriers are also raising their rates by five to 8% due to increased demand and limited resources. This has urged us to revisit product and shipping prices. So they give you some industry change uh, r resources as well if you wanna look more into it, but we'll skip over that. Now, what you guys are really here for, okay? I should have probably led with this. Uh, the first product that popped up into my mind that I thought would be the most significant change should the price go up was Printful's most affordable T-shirt, okay? The Gildan 64,000, probably, if I had to guess, the most popular T-shirt that they sell. Um, I, if, I'm, if I'm wrong, it's probably the Bella Canvas 3001. Um, by the way, Bella Canvas 3001, also increasing in price. I believe it used to be 12.95. It looks like it went up in price by 50, 60 cents. It looks like from 12.95 to 13.55. But the Gildan 64,000, it wasn't that long ago that it was 7.95 per shirt as a base cost. And what's cool about Printful is like they don't nickel and dime you by price changes based on like every size swap and every color swap. Like if you compare to Printify now. Just to be clear, uh, when I did my video on Printful versus Printify, we did notice that the cheapest t-shirts available on Printify, um, generally speaking, still were cheaper than the Gildan 64,000 through Printful. Um, but like, you know, with Printify, it's, it, the prices fluctuated quite a bit because literally the, the size plus color combination would generate a different price. So you could switch the color and then all of a sudden the price goes up or down and you could switch the size, price goes up or down. Um, with Printful, it looks like the 
color doesn't make a difference and the size only changes on 2xl and 3xl which is consistent with how it was prior to march march 8th so that's not a change but we are seeing a significant price increase and while one dollar you know this is the kind of thing that can fool people pretty easily like oh it just went up one dollar ryan who cares yeah but do 8.95 divided by 9.95 and look at it on a percentage basis okay this is quite a significant jump of 10 percent guys uh that's yeah that one dollar when you say one dollar it's like oh who cares when you say 10 percent, it's like uh yeah that's 10 percent you know of your profit margin most likely so this is something that we needed to be aware of i was really hoping i wouldn't find the gildan 64,000 down here but there it is quite a few different products are listed um there's even some pagination so you're you're gonna have to kind of just scroll through on your own there's 13 pages of products okay so you know we were all hoping that it was just restricted to this first page and you know we got some hats we got some shirts some sweatshirts uh yeah and then we have 12 other pages of products as well now here is where um i think i'm actually going to flip back over to my slides and i will talk you through some strategy as alternatives now the first thing i wanted to share with you guys was strategy what do you need to do when these changes take place now the first thing you can do is edit your prices to account for the change in base cost and this varies from platform to platform okay so if you're doing it on like etsy fortunately for the etsy sellers like they make it pretty darn easy to change prices to any number of listings if you're doing it to amazon seller central uh, I mean, honestly, it all depends on your comfort doing like a flat file upload, but that's basically how you're going to edit a bunch of listings all at once, all together. And kind of the process for doing it to 40 listings is the same as 400 is the same as 100,000. Okay. And yes, people have 100,000 listings, myself included. So flat file a little bit different, but uh, either way it can be done. Okay. So you can bulk edit your prices or you can do nothing. Uh, if you do nothing, you may also just want to be aware if you've never done this before, but when a product originates from any print on demand production partner, so Printful, Printify, whoever else, the platform it originates from is the platform that assuming there's an integration with the marketplace you're selling on. So it could be the Etsy integration. Let's use that as an example. Uh, they are the ones that will automatically fulfill the order. So if you're integrating Printful to Etsy, and you say, man, Printful's prices on the t-shirts now are too high. What you can do is on a per order basis, like I would only do it for when orders come through, uh, you can, when you get an email from Printful saying, hey, we just saw that this order came through Etsy, we're gonna start fulfilling it. You can click the link in that email, tell it to cancel, and you can manually recreate the order in another another production partner which i have some alternatives for you but i did just want to make sure you guys were aware that you can do that but just remember if you push the products through printful they're going to automatically start like they're going to detect the order they're going to start fulfillment you do get a little bit of a gap in time where you can cancel it but if you're not quick you know like i sit at my computer all day i see my emails pretty much immediately when they come through like i i have no problem canceling but if you're not you know fast it's gonna start fulfillment and then you're kind of screwed because you can't really cancel after that so I wanted to just make a couple suggestions of production partners that should be on your radar. If you guys subscribe to my channel, which, you know, thank you for subscribing, help me get to hundred K appreciate you. Uh, you've probably heard me talk about them in the past, but I just wanted to kind of put a couple out there and I will include links to them in the description to make your life easy. If you want a wide variety of products in one place, cause Printful has like, I think 300 or 400 different products. So, you know, if you're looking for like a one-stop shop to be an alternative, Printify should be on your radar. And that would probably be my number one suggestion. Although to get the best pricing out of Printify, you have to charge or you have to pay $30 a month. Now it's not required to pay $30 a month, but if you're going to be using Printify, like generally speaking, it's, it's worth your money. And you can actually do the math breakdown of like how many orders you need to be making per month for it to be worth and it, it depends on product type as well. So, I mean, it's, it's a kind of a complex equation. It's not like a simple one that I could just share with you. It's going to depend on each person that's watching this, like what you're selling. But Printify should be on your radar. Guten as a number two. So if you want like a backup to your backup, uh, Guten has an absolutely massive catalog. They, they operate similar to Printify where they kind of are aggregating multiple production partners and what they can fulfill. Uh, so those two should be on your, your radar as... Um, production partners with a wide variety like very likely can can replace an order from printful if, if the pricing just isn't working for you or the shipping prices just isn't working for you uh, as far as 
pricing goes if you're just looking for a nice cheaper alternative to Printful. And again, guys, like the reason I didn't harp too much on the Printful price changes is because it's going to kind of vary. So you're going to want to check the link out yourself and go find your best sellers and see if they, see if they're even listed. Hopefully they're not. That would mean that the price stays the same. Uh, I don't think any of the price changes were, were prices going down. I just laughed because I'm like, yeah, that would be kind of cool if it was. But I, I only saw them going up. So I would anticipate everything to kind of go up. Uh, if you're looking for great prices as in alternatives to having Printful fulfill for you, uh, Printify needs to be on your radar. Of these three behind me, it's probably the most expensive um, on average to use Printify. I guess maybe if you're on Printify Premium, that might not be true. You have to kind of figure it out on your own because, again, everything varies so widely, like like the size, the color, etc. cetera. Um, and I'm thinking of T-shirts when I say that because I think most of us are selling T-shirts. But Printify print tailor although print tailor comes from china so just remember that um you have to just build that buffer in you know into your handling time but they are very competitive as far as their pricing goes and then print best also is like really uh print best i mean not as well known probably as the previous two uh, or maybe i'm wrong you know maybe they're you know either way print best should be on your radar because they had some really great pricing uh on shirts that like like a wide variety of type of type of shirts and like sizing plus color combinations so I really think if you haven't, like check out Print Best. There's nothing, by the way, all of them are free to use, but Printify is the one that has the uh, optional premium for $30 a month. So I wanted to put those on your radar, guys. But okay, last thing to wrap up with, um, Amazon Seller Central, and I kind of touched on this earlier, but since not a lot of production partners integrate, like all of these, for instance, these three behind me have Etsy integrations. Well, they do not have, none of them have an Amazon integration as of recording this. And when I say Amazon, I mean Seller Central. So if you're looking for alternatives to fulfill your Amazon Seller Central orders that originated from Printful, just remember, you number one, you, you need to cancel the order in Printful before they start fulfillment. Number two, you have to manually recreate it in the other production partners, which is a manual process, which is slow and you know lame and boring, but it is what it is. You could probably maybe come up with something through like Orderdesk or Zapier, but I haven't looked into any of that. Number three, don't forget, you're going to need to mark the orders as shipped. Part of the benefit of using the integration with Printful is that they will automatically upload the tracking and let the customer and Amazon know that it's shipped out on time. If you if you kill the, the integrated order, you're going to have to do it yourself. So do not forget that. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you found it helpful, please let the YouTube algorithm know by hitting that like button. And if you want to subscribe, if you're not already, that would be great. Before I leave, I wanted to remind you, I do have a full print on demand course. If I moved really quickly through this video and you're like, slow down, Ryan, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, this course is worth considering joining because it's going to help you by showing you exactly how I make six figure print on demand sales every single year. Step by step, how to start, scale and automate your business. You can find out more using the link in the description. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you tomorrow with a new one.